Well, that, so that's why it was lagging loading in, is because everyone was just uh, spamming all of the voice lines they could possibly get. NATO, FYFF. I mean, like, you can't. My god. These two teams do like their voice lines, don't they? Geekfam should be able to secure this top rune, so they will get two runes as Zhao Yu and the Bat Rider are able to. Good god. Can I mute them? <laughs> Show my face? Nah. If I'm actually casting the game, I don't like to have my face cam up. I mean, I know I do just look that good, but that's not why we're here. Era spear not going to be impacting onto a tree. What is going on, Dota? TP's to the bottom lane. Just want to make sure that Raven gets off to a nice and healthy start. But like this lane, this mid lane. Look at this. Surprise, surprise. FYFF is not having a, having fun here. TA just loses so hard to Huskar. It is a position for Mars. My favorite kind of Mars. Okay, nice. They get the stun onto FOL. However, Mars, Zephyr, he is going to end up going down. First blood, FOL able to get that kill, and now Raven will just have to back off. And nicely played by Tai Chi to get first blood. Mushi gets caught by the pounce of this Slark. He might be in a little bit of trouble here. Not quite. But it was getting there. <laughs> this is, uh... This is exactly what happened in game one. Like, you already see, I mean, FYFF already in the jungle. They kill off NATO in the top lane. What can they find? Nothing. But he's in the jungle, the Bat Rider just takes the, the lane that has. At least Bat won't just instant die to Huskar. But. Obviously not the ideal scenario right now. Zephyr is actually committing to lanes this time, though. Instead of being that, like, perma-roaming uh, Mars. Oh, I just realized I haven't eaten yet today. Oh, shackles underneath the tower. The damage it is adding up, but it's not going to be enough to bring down Velo. Backs off, uses a cell, gets a clarity. He'll be right back into tip top shape as a Slurk rejoins the lane. 
LOL, Mars trying to collapse around his back, but a little bit too slow. No boots of speed quite yet. Nato goes down in the top lane. They're trying to get the kill onto Velo. Slark, he's getting a bunch of agility here. He's up to 36 stolen agility. Holy balls. But you've got to be so careful, right? Zephyr able to spear forward the Bat Rider. They get the kill onto him. But, oh my god. 51 agility stolen this early in the game. Velo gonna be able to get out of here. I do actually really like this decision to just kind of just instantly the move the TA into the jungle. Oh, Jao Yu. Raven getting a solo kill onto the Pango who used his slash buckle a little bit too aggressively. Gotta be a bit careful. The Zephyr. Just making sure the bat doesn't have a lane. Bat Rider is 5 and 1. He is level 4 though, so he's at least getting the experience from, from this mid. And FYFF. Getting a little bit. How is Slark doing? 23 and 4. So he's going even with the Legion Commander up here. However, Legion, of course, having the benefit of one kill and two assists. Pumps him up a little bit. Shackles, allowing for the agility to start to stack up. But now Mushi comes in, gets the sleep onto the Shadow Shaman. They don't have the damage to kill him off, though. But in the mid lane, they do have the damage to kill off FOL. Nothing to say. Has to be a bit careful here. The spear onto FYF. They have the inner fire as well, but it's not going to be enough. And across the board, three suddenly die for Geek Fam. I nothing to say was just a a lot too aggressive. That wasn't just a bit too aggressive. That was a lot too aggressive. Over... Overestimating how much damage they could do and take there. FOL should be okay. He's going to turn around, start to get the stacks up. TA joins the fight, gets the slowdown. On to nothing to say, but Zephyr is here. The spear, it's not going to hit onto FOL. They have the Rolling Thunder coming through. Mushi, he gets stunned up. He is definitely going to die. FOL will not burn to death. And they get another uh, kill as nothing to say is just being super aggressive on this Huskar. And it's not paying off well for him. Control onto nothing to say, but again, just not quite having the damage. If we look at net worth, we see that the TA is actually 700 gold ahead of this Huskar now. NATO wrapping around. Zephyr is going to find him and be like, hmm, hey, Huskar, hey, you guys want some kills? Spear him onto a tree, easy dual win. Easy bonus damage. Right, if, if I were playing in a pub right now, that is exactly where uh, everyone would just type easy. How's Raven doing? Raven is top net worth. I think FYFF will actually surpass him here pretty soon. Mushi. 
cheeky little plays, goes up there, blocks the ancient camp, knows exactly what the TA is doing. Who, nothing to say is actually a very competent position to. We say that though, he gets the inner fire, buys him a little bit of time. And it's actually going to be enough, especially with the God's Rebuke coming out as well. Templar, like, FYYF and Raven are going to be, like, jostling elbows for the top net worth until someone wins a team fight, I think. Hello? They get the stun. Oh, what? Camera. They get the stun on to that slark. Get the duel out, some more bonus damage, start him to stack up. Bounty runes, it is going to be three bounty runes going the way of Geek Fam, only one snagged up by Tai Chi. But FYFF, FYYF. He's what, 1400 gold away from a Desolator. I'd imagine then he farms up the blink. He is top of the net worth now. Raven, they come, they bring Nando in, they might be able to kill off this lifestealer, he does have infest, who's going to come next, gets the infest in, pops it, Raven though, goes for this uh, rage TP, they just don't have the damage to stop him, I'm actually kind of surprised he didn't die. That was a lot thrown onto that life stealer for him to just escape unscathed. They do get the tier one tower, but the serpent wards have been committed down in the bottom lane. No uh, flaming lasso, as we do know, so Raven is going to be able to safely pull this wave back into the trees, but I think the tower still goes down. Nothing to say has shown up. Okay, they're just going to rage onto these. Is it deniable? No, it's not. Smart. Actually, a smart play by Tai Chi not to keep hitting it with the, the Serpent Ward so that it doesn't go into the deny range. Up, oh, Velo. Nato, he tried to deny it, but Velo, a little bit too speedy, is able to snag up that haste rune. And they're looking for Zhao Yu. You can actually duel during this. It's really weird if it happens. But not going to do it. TI-7. Zephyr goes down. They did not even use Flaming Lasso. He just kind of died to the fire. Dyer's bottom tower is being attacked. Obviously, Batrider is one of these heroes who is actually just amazing versus Mars, unless Mars gets a pretty decent lead on him. And since they are both support, he doesn't have it. The master. This is pleases the master. This pleases the master. When last we left our heroes. Dyer's bottom tower under fire. Hmm. 
надо будет. Mushi might be in a bit of trouble here. Well, Huskar is slowly coming in. He's got Fiend's Grip. He's trying to bait out uh, Slurk staying here. And Oh, do they know where he is? They find him. He tries to pounce, but he just ends up running into, uh, running into the God of War. Easy damage, easy damage. Up to 30 bonus uh, damage now for Velo. They are losing something, anything, nothing. FYFF actually takes this opportunity. They're going for Roshan. And with this Deso completed, Roshan is actually taking so much damage. Minus 10 armor, only sitting at 10. Sneaky, sneaky. Tai Chi going to be able to snag this first Aegis of the game. TA actually top of the net worth. Five, 500 gold here. Raven. Working towards Radiance. As opposed to the other game with Huskar versus Tia, this game is shockingly close. And literally in two minutes are the point where Geek Fam won their game against Typhoon. So obviously Tai Chi doing a much better job of holding on this game. It's only about a 2,000 gold lead for Geek Fam. TP's to the bottom lane. They see Raven, but that is not the target they want. However, they will go ahead and take a Mushi. FYFF just able to easily get that kill and it looks like the split push lines have been drawn. They know that their bottom tier one tower, it's not worth defending that, not 4v5. Where is Zephyr going? I wonder if they get uh holy Velo is just the DD rune on TA means that Velo literally died in three shots. Jump forward, they get the hex onto Mushi, another kill comes through. Is under siege. And the gold lead suddenly going back the way of Tai Chi as with this DD still ticking easily picks up up that top tier one. Do they have a smoke here? Radiance bottom tower under fire. Radiance oh they see him, but FYF have got the haste rune. They have the duel, but Velo, no blink dagger, can't quite get in range. And now FOL, jumping forward for this Legion Commander, the blink forward. They do have press the attack to buy him a little bit of time. Well, that's always so annoying. But the Bat Rider, one more right click, he is going to go down. Nothing to stay, still alive. Zephyr is going to end up dying to Zhao Yu here. They are going to be able to find Mushi as well. He got the Fiend's Grip off the inner fire, disarming the TA. But they are able to get the kill. Slark, it's Raven versus the world right now. Velo is back in this. Nato gets the hex onto Raven. Raven, he gets the open wounds onto that Shadow Shaman. Velo, though, not able to lock down FYFF quick enough. He had the duel, but didn't want to go for it. A little bit worried about giving TA some bonus damage. What a game. What a fight. Blink Deso, BKB is going to be the next item. Maybe Blade Mail for Velo after this? Who got the first 10 kills? I actually didn't even look at it. It would have been... It 
It would have been it was geek time. What is Slark building? Shadow Blade Silver Edge. I guess Silver Edge yeah, Silver Edge for both husk. I sound like an ASMR artist. I've been told that. I should actually probably do it. Maybe I'd make more money doing that. Invisibility. Okay, Mushi. Pulling it back knows that they don't quite want to fight. They found an observer ward though. Is under siege. Going for fusel blade on value. Fellow has his blink dagger. Huskar is useless. I mean, inner fire is really good, right? Inner fire, the, what is it? How long of a disarm? Four second disarm and then he is almost finished with this Heaven's Halberd as well. He's going to go and pick up the Talisman of Evasion to finish it off right now, in fact. Like, there's a lot of disarm now, which means that Slark's going to have... Well, rip Mushi. Slark could have some problems. They do get the stun onto that Pango. Another dual victory for Velo, but they're in a lot of trouble now. They're gonna lose both of them. And now nothing to say. The blink forward, inner fire, disarming for a little bit. He's bought himself a couple more seconds of time. Raven has arrived. They popped the shrine. They're trying to turn this around. Another inner fire, disarming everybody, but they have the control onto nothing to say. He jumps forward onto Nato. They will be able to kill him off, but there is Oh my god, more inner fires! The disarms, they just keep coming! Heaven's Halberd saves nothing to save! They turned that into a three for nothing, as they were just diving so hard for this Huskar! But these, the, the inner fires, with that arcane rune, he was able to get off, what was it, three of them? during that fight yeah the armlet toggling the inner fires disarming everyone oh my gosh that was just perfectly played by the husk guy and even you saw raven what raven did is he popped the shrine as he was going in there so he popped the shrine because he knew that nothing to say needed that regen as soon as he could get it and wasn't going to make it to to it to hit it himself good good team play uh just the disarms completely neutering the slark and the ta like you saw that as soon as her bkb wore off she just stopped dealing damage I like how Huskar literally has only one ability that costs my mana. Oh, was he? Okay, Raven coming forward. Smoke gets popped, they know someone's around. Jump forward, the instant Hex comes out though. Velo already dead. Zephyr, well, he's gonna die though. He gets jumped onto, they have the stun, but Zephyr, he tries to run out. He's going to make it. They turn around, FYFF. Again, the BKB gone, which means that all of your protection is gone. And they're gonna turn this around. They're gonna find another one. Raven's still sitting at full HP. And suddenly, it looks like Tai Chi just can't do anything against these cores. It's Roshi!
next time. Obviously, Tai Chi, they see this, they know what's going on. But do they really want to buy back on PA for it? They buy back on the Shadow Shaman, hoping that's enough to scare them off. But it's just not. Roche is almost dead already. Oh! Whoa! Evoel almost gets that Aegis Snag. He did get the cheese. But couldn't quite snag the Aegis. Duel comes out onto Nato here. Oh, that was really, that was almost not a victory. He's up to 66 bonus damage. That was so close to an Aegis steal. I mean, he got the cheese, which is actually pretty big. Like, giving the cheese over to, like, Slark, I'd imagine is who they'll give it to. No, they give it to the TA. Hmm. Bellows had a very rough game, but Radiant's top tower is under siege. Oh, Team making sure that he gets these uh, uh damage these dual victories. Bello jumps in. FYF is just gonna turn around and Double look, kill. Legion. You're not exactly tanky, but that is another BKB charge being used by FYYF. Who his BKB is down to seven seconds. Yao Yu has the Fusal Blade, going for Lincolns, I believe. Precious bounty. Jump forward. They've got the vision. He is going to make it out though, and now with the heck into the shackles. I don't know. The slug, he's still taking the damage. He gets the dark packed off. They turn around, and nothing to say. He's fighting against all of these wards. He gets the life break onto the TA. He's still alive. Just this regen is too much. 110 regen per second? Another duel comes out. Will they be able to finish off the Pangolier in time? They do. The Arena of Blood gets popped, but the BKB FYF is able to just walk straight out of it. Good God. Berserker's Blood doing massive amounts of work there. And another one bites the dust. They've got at least 30 seconds until the Pango is back alive. Serpent Wards were also committed. And it looks like Tai Chi have zero interest in trying to protect this. Just getting the farm they can on the map, trying to put a little bit of pressure into the other lanes. But the shrines are now vulnerable. Uh, guys? <laughs> I like how obviously neither one of them realized that it was still alive. Velo had to paint it out and was like, guys? Did anyone want to finish off that shrine? Your one tower goes down, they use a the smoke instantly. FYYF, kind of out in front of his bait. They do see everybody. Rolling Thunder keeps getting threatened out. Do they actually want to fight this? The other members of Geek Fam rolling around the back. They have gotten the Arena of Blood down. FYFYF stuck there in it. Bat Rider trying to get out of this. They've already lost Muji. They pur burn the Aegis of nothing to say. Buyback instantly from Velo as they jump forward onto the Slark. He's dead for 64. They're trying to get onto FYYF, but just not able to. 
triple kill for nothing to say. Xiao Yu able to jump down. They do spot him out with that uh, spear. He, there is tool, but not going to be able to get in range to use it. Dyer's top tower is being attacked. Radiant's middle tower is Radiant's taken. middle tower has fallen. FYYF, just going for the trades. Anyone going to defend this? It looks like Zephyr will go back. Radiance Middle Tower is being attacked. Do they have Halberd on Tai Chi? No. Who would build Halberd? Haste. No one is like a good Halberd builder on Tai Chi. YYF pops his BKB, will be able to at least kill off Mushi, has to eat the cheese there. Now FOL joins the fight, but Velo's already here. They know FYYF is around here somewhere. And inner fire means that you cannot hide under the metal forever. Zephyr picks that up with the Spear of Mars. Raven chases down FOL, and now Zhao Yu, good god. Longest ranged, longest ranged life break ever. Nothing to say, chases him down. The Arena of Blood gets used up again. And Raven, he's just going for the end. The tier fours, that's their objective. Okay, Geek Fam, they're going to think better of it. They're going to be like, ah, let's just make sure we don't throw this game. Take another lane of Rex. Play it safe. It's not, there's not like, is there's a rush, right? They have the late game. They have the advantage. They're not on a timer. This will do nicely. Double damage. Smoke coming out again from Geek Fam. They found, they find Zhao Yu, jump in, get the instant duel. Oh. He used Ghost Scepter on that. <laughs> like, why was no one attacking? And it's because Legion Commander used Ghost Scepter. I actually like this, right? They don't need Velo for the damage. Got the 110 already. So if you can just, like, kind of remove FYYF from a fight for, what is it? Five and a half seconds with the Ghost Scepter so that you don't die to him. Psych has no impact. Psych's not a good hero right now. Like, rushing Silver Edge never feels good. They jump forward. FOL is going to be the first to die. He buys back instantaneously. Nando going to be able to get back to the fountain with a little bit of help from the Spear of Mars. But the Slark, he's disarmed. He can't do anything. He's dead. 95. Nado goes down as well. Buyback from the bat into death. And there's the GG. Geek fam. It looked like maybe, just maybe, Tai Chi had the answer.